We're based here in Tucson. So we install residential and commercial solar. We're trying to put as much solar in as possible, you know, to fight climate change, basically. <laughs> the company started, they would ride bikes to jobs, uh, and we, we had all these bike trailers. One was 10 feet long, and you could light conduit and racking in it. And then another one, we, had a tri we have a tricycle that has a four by eight bed on the back, so they put solar panels in it. I think they had a Jetta and like pile solar panels on top of a Jetta and take those to install in the early days. And, you know, it's a part of like the growth of any company or any business that has any kind of mission. We started with this super idealistic vision on like how do you keep growing it uh, and stay true to that, you know. This whole room is filled with panels. This is like a week's worth of installation. So this is our solar array. Um, this powers the whole building. Uh, right now it's wildly over generating power because we sized it so that uh, when we can get electric trucks, all of our, it, it, it's enough power to charge all of our vehicles. And so we did have to give up a little bit and buy trucks and forklifts and equipment and that kind of thing. But the employee ownership part of it is definitely a huge way of, of staying true. We're a employee owned worker co-op and we have I think 24 of our 65 employees are employee owners. So we've been employee owned since the beginning of 2017. It was a long term vision enough to have some form of distributed ownership. And you know, at the beginning, I don't think they knew what a worker club was specifically, um, but they really wanted distributed ownership. They were not getting into solar to, to become business owners of a 65 person company like they started with a bike trailer right so even really the most important part to me is like you get that that ownership feeling over your own work and control over your own work of owning your own business but then you have all these other people to rely on so that you can have a break from it and help work through issues and all that kind of thing so you know the financial benefit is another thing it does take us from being able to give everyone a living wage to like where employee owners are able to start building wealth. Start building wealth with your labor, not just the money you already had. I came to Tucson and I was like, I'll try being a solar installer and I, I came in at the right time. I'm pretty, you know, I'm like a driven person. Like I like, uh, you know, um, putting in a lot of effort and like taking ownership of the work that I do, uh, which is something we talk about a lot. Um, and I thought at times about starting my own business, but like, uh, my parents had a, um, small construction company building log homes and it was the traditional small business. Like they ran it all, worked every day. The parts of watching my family members deal with the stress and never being able to take time off and all that stuff. I had always been like, I don't want any part of that. Like, and here the really nice thing is that we've got 24 of us that all have bought in financially but also philosophically and like have that ownership we're already thinking about employee ownership how do you actually organize it um, we took ideas from some of these other solar companies like namaste solar is one of those um, but then uh, companies out of the solar industry uh, the south mountain company they like have the book on worker co-ops the book is called the company we keep i think and that is like the guidebook of how to do it <laughs> it's a huge process internally to figure out how to make it happen to education and the expectation setting of employees and all the people who are buying in and whatever because it's it's a very different thing to be uh, owner director of business than, than just an employee and we have a year-long candidacy program uh, to become an owner um, which includes a whole bunch of classes on financial literacy and the, the philosophy of the company and all kinds of stuff like so like financially our path to ownership we do have a buy-in for ownership but we also have a profit sharing program with all our employees so you can use that uh, profit sharing investment as your buy-in for full ownership. Uh, but it's certainly possible for within a few or a handful of years to be able to buy in to the ownership share without ever having put out any money. We're hiring 
for installers, we're hiring for drafters, we're hiring for all kinds of other office-based positions. Uh, we train up, we almost prefer to take people with no solar experience. Um, people with related trades experience or any kind of trades experience are great, but even people with no experience are great too. You go to our website, like I said, we hire people with no experience. We hire people from all backgrounds. The interest in solar right now uh, is, is pretty insane.